Moderate and mild head injuries or concussions make up the largest percentage of TBIs in the general public for both men and women. Sometimes referred to as the silent epidemic, concussions are often hard to detect or dismissed as insignificant. Most people are at risk for a TBI from a car accident, a fall, and, of course, while playing sports. Dr. Jeffrey Barth of the University of Virginia has been studying concussions since the late 70s. We found that mild and moderate head injury is a, a significant problem. Um, people that were in automobile accidents were having uh, cognitive deficits associated with those injuries. Um, our problem became that we could not tell uh, how well those people were functioning prior to their head injury, so we couldn't determine what the head injury was actually costing them. To get a better understanding of the effects of concussion, Barth and colleague Dr. Donna Broshek study student athletes with a method called SLAM. The SLAM uh, methodology uh, stands for Sports as a Laboratory Assessment Model, and this is where we pre-test uh, athletes before they begin the season to determine how well they're functioning neurocognitively. By using sports as a laboratory, we get the baseline test, and then we test people after concussion. We can track their recovery. It helps us understand what the recovery curve is like for milder injuries. The injuries that are experienced are generally of the acceleration, deceleration variety. The brain moves forward, it accelerates, and then it moves backwards, and then when the skull stops moving, there's a very rapid and sudden deceleration. So the brain essentially slams into the back of the skull. The same thing happens in an automobile accident. When a person drives and hits something, they move forward and stop quickly. And on the battlefield, this is very similar to the blast injury, where there's a concussive blow near the person, and that explosive force translates into what would be very similar to being tackled. Within sports, their findings have changed the way coaches and athletic trainers assess and treat players. At first, what you did with a person that came off the field with a concussion was ask them a few uh, neurologically based questions. Do you have headaches? Do you have double vision, uh, nausea, that sort of thing? And if you didn't um, and you wanted to go back into play, you were essentially told you were good to go and let's get back on it. Today, standards are stricter in college, high school, and even professional sports. Standards that can be applied to all mild and moderate head injuries. I think that concussions are being taken much more seriously um, in athletics. Um, and they're also being taken more seriously uh, in our everyday lives um, and uh, in our military.